Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Hey guys, welcome back. I just finished putting together this little present for my mail carrier. Every year I like to leave the mail carrier just a little something and so this year I gave him a hot chocolate pack. This was actually from Dollar Tree. It's upside down because it's more narrow down here and it fit better that way. I got, I got him some microwavable popcorn and then the Junior Mint Peppermint Crunch Candy. And then in the front here, I have some Fritos. <laughs> I just think, you know, they're out on the road all day and they might want a snack. And so he's got sweet and salty. So he or she, I, I believe it's always a he in my neighborhood. But anyway, so that's his gift. I He's already been here, so... I'll just put it in the mailbox for tomorrow. Here's what I'm giving to my neighbors. I have these really cute address labels or Christmas labels, and these are stickers. And then I'm getting them some Christmas crunch. And then these are super cute magnets that I got at a Christmas boutique not long ago. It was the boutique that was at the plant nursery. So I got some of those and then I'm just gonna arrange them like this and then put them in a little bag. So let's see. First, second. Here's the bag. And then I like to take these little rubber bands from Dollar Tree. They're for your hair. And I just like to pop it around the top here just to hold it together while I put a ribbon and stuff on it. So here is that. And then I'm running out of tulle, so I just have this um, spool of velvet ribbon. I got this at Harmon's. I really like it. And I got these at Harmon's as well. Okay. So where are my scissors? Here they are. I'm just going to... Tie it once like this. And then I'm just gonna leave it like that. I'm not gonna tie a bow in it. So I'll just do that. And then I'm just gonna snip the ends. On the slant. And this is what they'll be getting on their porch.
Hey guys, welcome back. It's the very next day. Of course, that's how I roll. So today I went to the post office and then I went to Dollar Tree and then I went to Walmart. I didn't get too much at Dollar Tree or Walmart. I just had to get a few things to get everything out of the way. So let me show you what I got. At Dollar Tree, I just got these two bath mats. I needed some really bad. And these are so nice because you can keep them for a while and then you can chuck them. I've actually had mine for quite a while and um, it's been great. I have one upstairs in the bathtub and then I've got one in my shower and they're really perfect in the shower because they're so little, you know, they're not like a big, great big long bathtub mat. But anyway, so I got two of them. I've already cut the tags off just so that I could have an extra spare. And then at Walmart, I grabbed some grapes and then I got these for Momo for her stocking. I saw these on TV, the Squeeze Ups, the Handheld Lickable Treat. I don't know if she's gonna like it or not, but we'll see. Um, gosh, I don't have the receipt, it's in a different sack, but um, I think these are only like $3, but anyway, we'll see. I got her the chicken one because the food that she eats now is chicken and gravy, so hopefully she'll like these. And then I also got some more tulle. I needed some more. I'm almost out of my red and I'm almost out of the white, and so I got those. And then I wanted to get some cute green, like the Grinch color green, but they were all out. But these were really inexpensive also. These were less than $3. And then I picked up some super cute um, tags for Christmas presents. I like these, they're super cute. So I grabbed some of those. And the last thing, I got this shirt. It was either five or six bucks, but um, it's just a nice blush color. And then I got, it was only, yeah, I got the large. And um, like I said, it was five or six dollars. I believe I have a white one and a red one, but I'm not sure if it's the exact same. But anyway, I really like these. They're inexpensive and they're comfortable. And this is relaxed fit. I don't know if that, if there are any other ones, but I like these a lot. And that's it. Oh, and I got a loaf of bread. I also stopped at my post office today and look what was waiting for me. All of these really sweet Christmas cards. So I will start down here. My friend Cindy Graham sent me this really pretty card. I just have to show you the glitter. It just looks so pretty. And then she gave me a gift card to Dollar Tree. Isn't that so nice? Thank you, Cindy. I cannot wait to use this. Oh, I will have a lot of fun. And then my friend Jenny Garcia sent me this really pretty card. And then we've got my friend Nancy Mirajan. So many beautiful, sweet messages inside each one. This one's from Sandy Hare. And then this one is from Linda Madden. So thanks guys. I'm excited. They're all gonna go right up on this door over there. There they are. Oh, and then this one right there on the bottom that one's for my friend Rachel. 
I got that a few days ago. My door is filling up. She doesn't know what she wants. So you're not used to this big sweatshirt, huh? Um, so today, when I went to Walmart, I did buy a few other little things for my nieces for Christmas, but I can't show you what they are because sometimes they watch my channel and I gotta be cautious, I gotta be careful. So, I don't want to let them see what I got them. Oh. Mama, 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 mama. So anyway, yeah. I have my Bah Humbug on. I got this sweatshirt at the Dickens Festival a few years ago. They don't have that anymore. It was like a boutique that you could go to and it um, all the vendors dressed up like um, the Scrooge people, um, and it was really fun, but they only do it in St. George, Utah now. They don't do it in Salt Lake anymore. I don't, I don't even know why, but it was really fun. And I got this sweatshirt on the last year that they were open. And I'm so glad I did because this is the only thing I've ever really gotten from the Dickens Festival. Huh? So anywho, yeah. That's the story. You guys, look. Today, I got two neighbor gifts. Well, Daryl and I both got two neighbor gifts. Um, this morning, uh, my neighbors two doors down stopped by and gave us some hot chocolate. This is so good, this brand of hot chocolate. I love it. I'm excited to drink some of that. And then my neighbor right next door, she makes cookies. She does this professionally. She brought us over a tin of cookies. And um, usually she makes um, sugar cookies, you know, like the really decorated, beautiful kind, all different shapes and sizes and stuff like that, themed, all sorts of cookies. But I've never really seen her make cookies that are chocolate chip. Um, I'm excited to give these a try. So here they are with the lid off. Um, I'm guessing they're just like chocolate chip with some walnuts. And then I don't know what these are. I have no idea what these ones are here. I'm excited to try those out, but these are huge and they're quite heavy. I just can't imagine. She's a really, really good baker. Mm. Oh boy, those are very, very good. But isn't that sweet? And I love this tin. It's adorable. So they, they're going around to all our neighbors, giving out their cookies. I, I don't know, I think they'd probably do maybe three or four of us, but yeah, very nice. And they gave us this really cute card with it. They have two dogs. They're kind of like a boxer terrier mix. And they are adorable. And they're black and white. They're so cute. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the neighbor gifts. I need to get mine out. Stat. 